hello everybody, you're welcome back again to the Reggae Appreciation Society. Dance hall is one of the most popular forms of music on the planet and emerged as an offshoot of reggae in the 1970s and had humble beginnings from Jamaica's sound system phenomenon that blew up in the 1950s. This subgenre of reggae has since its inception seen countless fire-spitting DJs do their thing over the past six decades. And in this video today, we're counting down our picks for the 10 greatest dancehall artists of all time. And we've based our criteria on popularity, raw talent, impact on the industry, and timeless value of their music. So let's go. Number 10. Count Machuki. Now what would this countdown be without the guy who inspired everything? Born Winston Cooper in 1929 in Kingston, he began to work with sound systems in the 1950s as selector with one of Jamaica's biggest sound systems named Tom the Great Sebastian and Machuki would lead the sound system to victory in the first recorded sound clashes by not just being a great announcer but by making announcements on art form in itself by speaking in a rhythm over the songs themselves in ways that drove audiences crazy. Later on, Machuki moved to Coxon Dodd's downbeat sound system where his fame exploded even more and as he refined his technique, his style spread like wildfire among Kingston sound systems and DJs and became distinctly known as a DJ style and crystallized into the blueprints that every single dancehall DJ has employed ever since. Number 9. Papa San Born Tyrone Thompson in Kingston in 1967, he became exposed to music at a very young age as his father owned a small sound system that operated out of their front yard in Spanish town. And before the age of 10, young Tyrone was no stranger to the microphone and by the age of 12, he was already performing alongside established DJs twice his age at major sound systems like Stereophonic, Black Scorpio and Creation. At the age of 14, he participated and won first prize at the popular Tasty Talent contest in Kingston, causing his fame to explode even more. An insanely gifted lyricist, songwriter and performer, he was untouchable in dance hall clashes and became a recording artist at the dawn of the 1980s and would score a string of number one hits even before he recorded his first album in 1986. His quick and speedy rapping style didn't just cause ripples in Jamaican music but Papa San is credited with introducing that style to hip-hop during his numerous visits to the US in the 1980s. US rappers like Buster Rhymes and Twister were said to have acquired their styles from Papa San. After a series of tragedies in the 1990s, he became a Christian in 1997 and today he is a gospel dancehall artist and pastor of a church in Florida. Number 8. Iroy the great Roy Samuel Reed is the most unusual dancehall DJ that the industry has ever seen. And while most DJs were rugged street tough types, Iroy was at first a trained accountant with Jamaica Civil Service when he switched careers officially in 1969 and became one of the hottest toasters on Jamaica sound system circuits. Always immaculately dressed in the finest designer suits imported from Italy, he was also among the wittiest, most skillful and creative lyricists to ever hold a microphone. Though at first, his style wasn't the most original as he had borrowed from Uroy and Dennis Al Capone at the beginning. He would set himself apart in the very early days of dancehall in the late 1960s and became one of the biggest stars in the 1970s with numerous smash hit singles. His album named Gussie Presenting Iroy that came out in 1973 was not only among the first in dancehall but an exquisite work of art that set the stage for that subgenre of reggae music and his legacy has seen Iroy celebrated by his peers and producers as the most articulate and most intelligent DJ of all time. Number 7. Supercat William Mara, aka Supercat, the Don Dada of Kingston 11, made his debut on the sound system scene at the age of 7 and would emerge as one of the hottest toasters in Jamaica's gritty sound system scene by the mid-1980s. His debut album, Siboop's Day, became an instant classic and was the start of an incredible run that saw him as one of the frontrunners of 1990s dancehall and epoch regarded at the genre's very peak. His 1992 album, Don Dada, is ranked among the greatest dancehall albums of all time and not only made him a global superstar but also made him among the first dancehall artists to do a fusion of dancehall and hip-hop in that decade. Supercat would help to make dancehall a truly global phenomenon before semi-retirement in 2002. His incredible style would spawn plenty of copycats in the next generation like Sean Paul in the 2000s. Number 6. Big Youth When we list the personalities that made dancehall a force in the 1970s, the great manly Augustus Buchanan would always make the cut no matter what. 
no other DJ personified early dancehall's attitude and ghetto fabulous swagger like he did. He would emerge as a part of the first generation of dancehall true superstars. And not only for his incredible skills on the microphone, but he had the distinction of being the first Rastafarian toaster, delivering spiritual and socially conscious messages at a time when DJs were known only for lyrics around topics like love, partying, and hyping their own lyrical ability. His breakout single, S90 Skank, became a phenomenon, and his album, Screaming Target, that came out in 1972, is regarded as one of the foundational and all time classic dancehall albums of all time. His career was affected by the industry shift to digital dancehall in the 1980s, but his legacy is untouchable and intact. Number 5. Ninja Man This phenomenal DJ is in my humble opinion the most lethal toaster to ever hold a microphone and the most feared man in dancehall history. He grew up in the tough neighborhood known as Seabright Gardens in Kingston and began to DJ at the age of 12. And by the age of 14, he was good enough to secure a role in the legendary Kilimanjaro sound system and over there, he would learn from older colleagues like Supercat and Early B and would over time grow into an unbeatable monster on the microphone and he would make a name for himself due to his imperious lyrical structures, quick thinking and smoking hot delivery. The 1990s saw him become a recording artist and one of dancehall's biggest names but he would gain global notoriety as the king of gunman lyrics and his style would influence a whole new generation of artists coming up after him including the likes of Capoton. But sadly, Ninja Man is talked about mostly today for his legal troubles and criminal record and is currently serving a life sentence today for murder. Number 4. Shabba Ranks This gruffed voice superstar went from Kingston Rude Boy to dancehall artist after he was discovered by the veteran toaster Josie Wales who introduced him to legendary producer King Jami and that opportunity saw him get to release a slew of singles before his debut album Rapping With The Ladies came out in 1988 and the 1990s we see him catapulted into superstardom as the arrowhead of an explosion of dancehall as a global phenomenon in that decade. His album As Raw As Ever saw him make history as the first dancehall artist to win a Grammy for Best Reggae Album. At the peak of his career, he was the most iconic and dominant dancehall artist and if we delve even deeper, Shaba was even among the most popular artists on the globe across all genres and almost single-handedly dragged dancehall into the global mainstream. Number 3. Butch Banton, the great Mark Myrie, aka Gargamel, who held the microphone for the first time in his life at the age of 12 after convincing a local DJ to allow him freestyle for a minute. By 1991, he was a veteran on the sound system scene and would score a smash underground hit with the album Stamina Daddy. And by 1992, his album Mr. Mention became the best selling album in Jamaican history. And the year after that, he broke the record set by none other than Bob Marley by bagging the most number one hits in a single year. After a slew of hit albums and singles as a dancehall root boy, a string of tragedies would see him undergo a spiritual conversion to Rastafari as evidenced in his 1995 album Till Shiloh. 12 albums and 32 years into an amazing career, he's still putting out music and has cemented his place among Jamaica's greatest ever artists. Number 2. Yellow Man London Cool The great Winston Foster is not only among the greatest musicians to emerge from Jamaica, but has the amazing record of being Dancehall's first global superstar. That juggernaut that we know today as Dancehall truly crystallized as a distinct industry on his back and he more than anybody paved the way for Dancehall's inevitable ascendance to the mainstream in the 1990s. He overcame titanic struggles in his early life and became a red hot toaster on the sound system scene before bagging first prize at the immensely popular Tasty Talent Contest at the start of the 1980s and his rise to prominence coincided with the cultural shift from roots reggae to dancehall in Jamaica in those times and he made history as the first dancehall artist to bag an international record deal. His achievements opened the floodgates for the dancehall superstars that would be unleashed by the 1990s. And coming in as number one is the mighty Uroy. The great Ward Bedford is not only the greatest dancehall artist of all time but truly among the most impactful and important figures in world music. Born in 1942, he grew up as the popularity of the sound systems was just taking off in Jamaica in the 1950s and fell in love with the art of toasting by the DJs that he would sneak out to watch as sound system dances. He became a disciple of the great Count Machuki who inspired him to start DJing himself. He would borrow his idol style and adapt it into an even more devastating technique that made him a superstar on the sound system scene. 
His talents were so outrageous that he would inspire producer Duke Reed to gamble and make history by giving him a record deal that saw him become the first toaster to record a full album based entirely on toasting. And this album was version galore from 1972. And this incredible achievement will create the industry the style of subgenre of reggae that we know today as dancehall, making Uroy the father of this movement and numero uno number one on our list of dancehall's 10 greatest DJs of all time. So there you have it. I'd love to get your opinions on this list, so please leave a comment in the comment section. So thank you for watching this video today. Please leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, Jobless.